in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus hearty welcome to this thunder of god episode i am sure that the holy spirit will speak to your hearts through the word of god and when you hear the word of god you will get an increase of faith in your life because the bible teaches us in romans chapter 10 verse 17 the bible teaches faith comes from what is heard and what is heard comes through the preaching of the gospel so when you hear the word of god your faith will increase you will have a deeper connection with our heavenly father so let us praise our lord and prepare our hearts to receive the gospel hallelujah thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. praise thank you jesus. jesus we glorify jesus. your name jesus thank we you, praise jesus. you lord we thank, thank you lord we glorify thank your name jesus hallelujah 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 amen hallelujah 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 Amen Hallelujah 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 Amen Hallelujah 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 heavenly father everyone together heavenly father heavenly father we praise you we praise you we glorify you we glorify you we thank you we thank you oh jesus christ oh jesus christ you are our master you are our master you are our lord you are our lord you are the savior you are the savior holy spirit holy spirit you are the comforter you are the comforter you are the counselor you are the counselor help me holy spirit help me holy spirit you are the helper you are the helper help me holy spirit help me holy spirit give me the grace give me the grace to love jesus to love jesus more passionately more passionately thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit praise you holy spirit praise you holy spirit mother mary help us pray for us be with us my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus in the book of hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 and 6 we read like this please listen let your life be free from love of money but be content with what you have for he has said i will never forsake you or abandon you thus we may say with confidence the lord is my helper and i will not be afraid what can anyone do to me so the bible teaches us to be free from the love of money money or wealth in itself is good but the love of money leads us to leads us away from the faith so we have to be very careful that's why the bible through saint paul or his disciple reminding us in the importance of depending on god if we depend on money we will go astray there is no doubt and a few years ago a priest was preaching the gospel in a church 
there was a young man named Antony listening to the word of God. And the priest was preaching on the gospel of Mark chapter 10 verse 21. As Antony was keenly listening to the word of God. So let us listen to Mark chapter 10 verse 21. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. See, Antony heard this word of God. The word of God peers into his heart. Years ago, while Jesus was preaching this gospel, a young man came because he was very rich, he could not follow Jesus. But this young man, Antony, who was immensely rich, when he heard the word of God, he received the Holy Spirit. Though he was immensely rich, his heart was not in the money. Anyway, he took a decision to sell everything and to follow Jesus in a radical way. And Antony did it. He sold all his property. He distributed the money to the poor and he followed Jesus. And you know, he became the father of all desert fathers. In other words, he was the first desert father in the church because the word of God changed him. He sold everything and he could follow Jesus in a very radical way. My dear sisters and brothers, the Lord Jesus Christ is inviting each one of us to follow him. To follow him in a radical way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. So my dear sisters and brothers, St. Paul in his letter to Timothy, first letter of St. Paul to Timothy, chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. There St. Paul preaching very powerfully about money and he says the, the root cause of all sins is money, love of money. The root cause of all sins is the love of money. Please listen to it. Those who want to be rich are falling into temptation and into a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires which plunge them into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evils, and some people in their desire for it have strayed from the faith and have pierced themselves with many pains. See, St. Paul says, those who want to be rich fall into temptation and are trapped by many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. I have seen many people who tried to follow Jesus became slaves of this sin. Years ago, I was conducting a spiritual renewal program and a man came to see me. The Lord Jesus Christ had intervened in, him, in his life very powerfully and he knew the providence of God and he was really serving the Lord. But after a few years, he had this love for money. He wanted to earn lots of money. Then slowly, he abandoned the teachings of the Lord. He started a business and his business failed. He became depressed and he wanted to commit suicide. Then only he came to attend this spiritual renewal program and he told me he said to me father I now know that the love of money is the root of all sins so my dear sister and brother where is your heart is your heart in this sin this love of money then you are far away from the gospel and Jesus 
gave us a beautiful parable rich man and lazarus jesus said there was a rich man jesus does not give him a name that rich man may be you or me and this rich man he ate sumptuously every day he had very lavish clothes and there was a very poor man called lazarus and this rich man did not do any harm to lazarus but when the rich man died he was thrown into hell when lazarus died he went to the heaven and there are three reasons why this rich man was thrown into hell the first reason is that he focused only on this life the rich man focus was only on this life he never thought that there is a heaven and some of us may have this same problem if you have got if you have this love for money what will happen will focus only on this world and the second reason he the rich man didn't believe in the power of the word of god that's why the rich man was asking uh, he, uh, Abba, sorry rich man asking abraham to send lazarus to his home and he has got a few brothers and La abraham said to rich man they they have prophets and they have preachers when they preach the gospel let them be repent let them experience repentance but this rich man he never believed in the power of the word of god that was the second reason the third reason the rich man ignored the needs of others so in christianity sin means not only committing a problem a sin but rather than avoiding the opportunities to do good that is why st paul in his letter to the galatians chapter 6 verse 10 st paul is teaching us like this please listen so then while we have the opportunity let us do good to all but especially to those who belong to the family of faith so we have got lots of opportunities to do good if you don't use the opportunities you will lose it you, you will lose the opportunity to go to heaven praise the lord thank you jesus praise you jesus and my dear sisters and brothers that's why when jesus gave us a very powerful parable of the last judgment jesus said in the gospel of matthew chapter 25 verse 40 i think this is the main question which our lord jesus will ask to each one of us after our death the question will be same for everyone for every for all those who believe and all those who do not believe the question will be same please listen when the son of man comes in his glory and all the angels with him he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him and he will separate them one from the other yeah you see the the lord will separate them from one from another and verse 40 the lord will say like this and the king will say to them in reply yeah the king will say to them in reply amen i say to you whatever you did for me for one of these least brothers of mine you did for me yes this is very very important my dear sisters and brothers if you have this love of money you will never consider others the rich man 
but had this problem and he was thrown into hell and Jesus is reminding each one of us to focus on heaven not on money that is why Jesus said no one can serve two masters either you will serve money or you will serve God you cannot serve both mammon and God it's impossible Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's why, my dear sisters and brothers, St. Francis of Assisi, he said, I quote, Let us also love our neighbor as ourselves. Let us have charity and humility. Let's give alms because these cleanse our souls from the stains of sin. So when we help others, when we give alms, that really cleanse our souls from sins. Praise the Lord. And now let us close our eyes and let us pray. Abba Father, in Jesus' name we pray that you may cleanse our hearts from the love of money lord give us your grace that we may may be generous generous in giving lord in your mighty name i rebuke the spirit of this love of money from the hearts of the people who are listening to the word of god so my dear sisters and brothers pray earnestly right now to lord jesus christ to give his Holy Spirit into your hearts that you may love him passionately. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Come, Lord, Holy Spirit, and anoint each one of us. Purify their hearts, O Lord. Empower us, Lord Jesus. Take away from our hearts the love of money, which is the root of all sins. Hallelujah, Lord. Cleanse our hearts, O Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. and minds to love you passionately. Lord, if there is anything that is hindering us to love you in a deeper way, take them away from our lives, O Lord. Especially, Lord, sometimes our hearts are immersed in the love of money. Jesus, give us a deliverance from that. Lord, open our minds and hearts and families to love you. You are our everything. You are our everything, O Lord. He is my everything. Yes, Jesus. He is my all. Yes, Jesus. He is my everything. Yes, Jesus. Both great and small. He 
gave his life for me made it everything you he is my everything now how about you Jesus my honey in the wrong yes lord sweet honey in the wrong yes lord for he tastes like honey the lord is good for he tastes like honey in the raw who oh, taste and see that that the lord is good oh he tastes like honey in the raw he is my have failed in sharing my money with others you have given me wealth many times like the rich man i have failed to help lazarus have mercy on me lord have mercy on us we are sinners jesus jesus have mercy on me have mercy on me mercy on me oh lord have mercy on me lord have mercy on me have mercy on me jesus mercy on me have mercy on me oh lord i have sinned against you i have run away from you I have broken your heart my father I have sinned against you I have ran away from you I have broken your heart my father have mercy on me have mercy on me have mercy place your hands on your heart ask the lord to give you a new heart a generous heart a giving heart jesus today you have taught us that the root cause of all sins is the love of money jesus give me your touch give me your anointing that i may love you in a deeper way i may love my brethren in a deeper way now sisters and brothers as you are going to receive a blessing from the eucharistic lord surrender your possessions to the lord jesus says where your possession is there your heart will be so try to have possessions in heaven rather than in earth when you receive this blessing ask from the depth of your heart for a generous heart jesus can do that for you very quietly you receive the blessing from the lord just simply just recite the name jesus jesus jesus
Most holy.